today I'm reviewing the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor as your video. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobiesbeauty.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so I don't know why I'm finally just getting to review this now, but I like it a lot. So finally reviewing it been out for a while now and I think of all the peach slices products this is probably one of the earliest products or one of the earlier products so anyway makes sense I'm reviewing it the latest okay so they say the peach slices snail rescue blemish busting toner is your fast track to hydrated balanced clarified and blemish free skin with 95% snail mucin and I have a lot of thoughts and I disagree with a lot of that and I agree with a lot of it as well so we'll talk about that in a second okay first criteria is packaging uh, nice bottle, no issues with that. Uh, keep it in your cabin or not using it because it's clear, but whatever. Whatever. No issues with it. In terms of denatured drying types, no does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance free and has no fragrance ingredients. It has no real noticeable scent to it, so no issues with that. The manufacturing location for this one is Korea, so no issues again with that. Let's do a little pH test of it. Uh, okay pH of it looks to be, I would say, right around 5. Almost 5 exactly. So no issues with that. Um, so the texture of it, it's a little bit lighter than like the Casa Rex snail peptide. Or not the snail peptide, snail essence. It's a little lighter than that, a little more liquidy, but still has a little bit of uh, thickness to it. So, um, so after cleansing, uh, you can use this on either a cotton pad or pad on the skin. If it's my evening routine, I will use this on a cotton pad because then it removes any other leftover residue or makeup or sunscreen or oil that's left over. In my morning routine, I'll almost always just pat this on my skin after rinsing my skin off in the morning. I typically don't cleanse in the morning. I will rinse off uh, just because, especially in the winter and fall when it's dry out. In the summertime, I'm more likely to cleanse, but a lot of times just rinsing it off with water works great for me. So you can use it morning or evening, either way, whichever way you want to use it. No issues at all with that. Uh, and then be sure to follow up with your next step before this sets or dries because it does contain several different versions of hyaluronic acid, which are humectants. If you let this dry on your skin and then go on to the next step, you're missing, you're going to miss some of that hydration benefits from it. And once hyaluronic acid absorbs and sets, uh, especially if the climate you're in is dry or your skin is dry, it can end up causing you to be more dry then it does hydrate your skin so move on to the next step before it sets or dries and you'll be much happier and much more hydrated so uh, no issues though with that works well on a cotton pad or padded onto skin it does take a moment to set or dry um, which is fine because that gives you time to move on to your next step okay antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one so we've got that snail secretion filtrate which is an antioxidant as well as a hydrate ingredient um, interesting note about it. I, I know I talked about this in a lot of different videos, but uh, I found this interesting that a Spanish radiation oncologist discovered for the first time that snail mucin can be used to treat radiation dermatitis, which is skin dryness irritation caused by radiotherapy, which is a cancer treatment. Uh, this person did a clinical study with 100 patients and reported a statistically significant clinical improvement in arrhythmia, itching, and burning and pain in the group treated with the snail mucin. So it's interesting that it might be just great for dry, red, irritated skin, but the fact that it can help with uh, radiation, uh, dryness, and redness is amazing. So great ingredient. Okay, uh, then we've got all these humectants, hy hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronic acid. They're humectants, different forms of it. Um, it's in everything. And I'm tired of saying that. Hopefully in 2023... I won't be saying it so much. Okay, then we've got Centella Asiatic Extract, Antioxidant, Skin Soothing, Wound Healing, Hydrating Ingredient, Amazing Ingredient. And then finally, we've got Vitamin E, which is an antioxidant hydrating ingredient. So it's not a long ingredient list. Just looking at the bottle, it's pretty short. Uh, it probably has less than 10 different ingredients, So, uh, which is just fine. Great for very sensitive skin or those whose skin is picky to certain ingredients. It's a short ingredient list, which I, I like to see. So no issues with that. 
in terms of animal testing, uh, peach slice is cruelty free, so no issues with that. Obviously, it's not vegan. If you're vegan, there's a lot of good yam root products out there that are very similar in terms of texture and benefits as snail mucin. Uh, in terms of the performance, it's a nice toner. It reminds me of a slightly less thick and a little bit less hydrating version of the Cosarex Snail Essence. The Cosarex Snail Essence, I would never apply with a cotton pad because it is thick. It, it, it doesn't absorb into the cotton well. You pat it onto your skin. This one can be used more like a traditional toner because it is less thick, but it's also still pretty hydrating and leaves your skin feeling nice. The one real gripe I have with this product is the fact that they call it a blemish-busting, blemish-fighting product. There's no real ingredients that do that in this. So I don't really know how they can, why they're marketing it in this way. Uh, I mean, snail mucin is great for acne-prone skin and great for redness and great for that, but to really call this like an acne-fighting product is not going to be, it's not where this product shines is what I'm going to say. So I, I don't really think of this as a acne-preventing, blemish-busting product. It's a nice product. It will help with redness and dryness, but uh, other than the snail mucin, and there's really nothing in here that's going to fight breakouts or prevent them or clean up your pores or anything like that. You're better off going with salicylic acid product or benzoyl peroxide or anything. I mean, just it just isn't. But otherwise, it's not where this product shines, but overall, it's a really, I think they should have just called it the snail rescue toner. And then I would have been more happy with it. But anyway. Um, and then for acne prone skin, ironically, we do have one ingredient of note. And that is vitamin E. So keep that in mind. So this is the full size, 4 ounces, 120 milliliters. And retails for about $14. Although somebody mentioned that they raised... No, maybe it's Peach and Lily that raised a couple of their prices. That doesn't necessarily mean that this won't go up. But anyway. I think this is still $14. Um, okay, in terms of the it factor, I really like this one. Uh, it's a nice option, except for those that are, you know, sensitive to hyaluronic acid. It's a nice, hydrating, kind of anti-redness toner, obviously. I don't know, the blemish-busting part, I wouldn't take that very seriously. But overall, it's a nice product. It's affordable, uh, and it seems to work well, and a little bit of it goes a long way, and it's a minimal ingredient list, so I think it will work well for a lot of different skin types and a lot of different people. So... Uh, with a 10 being a perfect score, I give this one an 8. It's worth trying out for a lot of people. And I really like this brand overall. Um, I'm a big fan. They have a lot of good stuff worth checking out. So, anyway, interesting from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out. Yeah or not, if you have what your thoughts are. So, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.